this one. Hard to say what they had cleared off because these trees probably aren't more than a hundred, maybe a hundred years old. Kind of cute. But they could have been all cleared off, yeah. Mm -hmm. So See, all this behind was cleared. This seems like it goes way down there. That's the bottom. Yeah, yeah it's hard to say. Five to ten meters down, depending. The original city here in Edsno was 25 square kilometers, but a lot of that was just uh, the huts of the, mm -hmm. the slaves of the poor people. The poor people. Always, always. Always live in the huts. I'm in huts. Still. Still live in huts. Still live in huts. Well, that's kind of odd. So the, Ma the Maya never disappeared. They just left these cities and went out into the jungle. Or in the case of the... Well, here, this is a good example. So the, I don't know what kind of animal, but it's like birds and cactus. So there was the, the central pyramids, and then they basically away from the center ones had smaller pyramids. Who knows what function? Those are for could have been for lesser priests or lesser lords or mm. this particular site was started in 600 BC. Mm. So it was continuously worked up until about 1500. Yeah, for a period of hundreds and hundreds of years. Of course, the big the 600 to 900 um, A.D. after Christ, and that was the um, Well, there's a pretty good sized iguana over there. Where? Over there, see it. Oh, I see it, I yeah. see it. Oh. oh, wow. Nice and cool, yeah. This is They're always, you know, Palenque, Cajon Leach. Um, most of the sites here at Esna were all on raised areas, on hills or mm -hmm. higher elevated areas. I obviously knew knew their country and uh, picked a better spots for sure. Yeah. Well, you don't want to fall, that's for sure, on these things. <laughs> hey, if they were short people, they used to be Well, they're about your size. They probably weren't any more than five feet tall. Although some of the... Some of the men might have been taller, for sure. Over it's there, it's probably doubtful they were six feet tall, though. Of course, the rocks are razor sharp, so if you fall, not only will you break something, you'll get cut. Well, this is known as the Acropolis or the raised city, but it has nothing to do with the Greeks whatsoever. Acropolis is the generic word for raised city. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because the, the folks here at the uh, National Institute here that, who actually govern and control the ruins in all of Mexico are very careful to say it has nothing to do with the Greeks. The other fact is there was no contact with ex extraterrestrials, which I find out. I mean, why would they? A lot, of people. a lot of people believe it or they want to believe it. They they believe it. UFOs came and they helped, them. helped them or whatever. But of course, there's zero evidence of that. Yeah. yeah. This is a huge city, though. 